Hey guys, welcome to TST Garage. I'm Bart and today I will be walking you through the installation of our Gen 2 flasher relay on a 2019 and up Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. Let's talk about why you would possibly need a part like this. Let me demonstrate. On this particular bike, we have changed the incandescent OEM signal lamps to an LED style signal. This particular system is our integrated tail light. It uses LEDs instead of a traditional bulb. And because of that, it, it draws much less current from the signaling system and that will trip up the OEM relay. So this usually causes a much faster flash rate than the OEM set rate of 85 cycles per minute. Our plug and play component replaces your OEM unit, plugs right in, and in about five minutes, you have restored the flash rate to the 85 cycles per minute. If you're so inclined, you can adjust the flash rate to your liking by slipping off this gray cover. It's pretty simple. You have to get the circuit out, plug this in to your harness, making sure that you are not making contact with any of these components and a grounding surface on the bike. There's a small adjuster here. Turn it clockwise versus counterclockwise for faster, slower flash rate. And then just replace gray cap, close it all back up. Simple as that. For the installation of this part on this bike, we'll just keep it at the 85 cycles per minute. I'm completely okay with that. But if you want to adjust it, go ahead. It's a fairly straightforward installation, just requires a couple of the components on this bike to come off, including the battery. So let's jump right in. All right, so let's remove the driver's seat. And now we will disconnect the battery. I like to keep the battery screws in the battery so we don't get misplaced. Now we will be removing these two fasteners. I have a 10 millimeter hex head. I'll be using a ratcheting box wrench. Any box or open-ended wrench will do here. This is just my tool of choice. Now we have one additional fastener of the same type right in there and that needs to come out. Okay, now our battery, battery bracket is completely loose. We can remove the battery and we have just gained access to location where our OEM relay is. This is it right there. We can pull it off towards the top of the bike here. That clears this rubber keeper from this tab. And then by pressing the center lock, we're able to unlock it and remove it. I'm gonna scavenge this rubber keeper to use on our TST relay. Go ahead and plug it back in. If you're gonna perform your flash rate adjustment, this is the probably the best time to do it. You have to plug the battery back in and make sure the system's operational. Slip off this gray cap and perform your adjustment. But like I said, we're not doing that. We're satisfied with the 85 cycles per minute. So let's go ahead and bring the battery back in. We have our positive side on the left side of the motorcycle. Just have to make sure we don't clamp any of these wires under the battery. Okay, I think we're good here. I am going to get my battery hooked up again. Test the system real quick, make sure it's all good before I start turning everything else in.
All right, we're looking good. A proper flash right now. Let's go ahead and uh, replace all the other fasteners we've taken out, and then we'll be done. One little note I want to make here, under here, these servo cables that run between the servo in the back and the exhaust, they are routed through these loops in this particular bracket that we've loosened. So we need to make sure that they get routed through there on the way back in before we tighten down on anything. I've done that here, so we're ready to start getting the threads in, all these three fasteners that are remaining. All right guys, we have Finished the installation. As you can see, we're flashing at the correct rate. Took about five minutes. Really simple installation, nice professional results. That's all I really have to say about that. Hope you visit us at tstindustries.com where you can pick up this part, read more about it, find out about more of these parts that we have for this bike. We'll see you there.